plug to go work for the processors if what they're wanting out of the efficient job is to make a chunk of money because you know fishing is gambling and you know if you get on with a highliner you will make a lot of money if you get on with you know somebody that's not a highliner you might not make what you've got into it i've never worked for one i know a lot of people that have worked for them they are um they are big business. They are equal opportunity employers. They hire more 15 year olds to work full time than any other business I know of. If you are under 18 and are looking for a real job, um, you know, you look at the processors. There's a lot of people that are, you know, that are loyal to their processor. They got their first job when they're still in high school and they stay with them and they work their way through school with some combination of uh, FAFSA and, you know, and, and make a little bit, of, little bit of money. The base wage isn't very good. The hours are really long. And so your, your overtime, you know, really adds up. The processors um, have had people just just jack them um, out of all kinds of things. So they have lots of rules on how to not get stolen from again. So you will have, um, you know, you'll have an allowance to buy rain gear that you then have to pay back um, because they don't supply rain gear anymore. So when you look at your, you know, agreement, your contract with with any of the big processors and go, well, you know, is this going to work? If, you know, your plan is to flake out on them, then, you know, no, you won't make much money because, you know, you will not have paid them back what they have outlaid to get you at their processing plant and get you geared up. But if you plan on staying this season, you can make good money 